Welcome to The Voyage. I'm Kimberly Bustide and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to this little patch of Queensland paradise on the Great Barrier Reef and of course to our 2022 Princess Yachts Rendezvous. In our last episode, the Princess fleet departed the Gold Coast for a 600 nautical mile journey north to Hamilton Island. 11 boats undertook the week-long trip that included some incredible experiences, like an underwater dinner in a coral lagoon and a sundowner or two on the world's largest sand island. We crossed bars, saw whales and learned plenty about our boats and each other. Since then, most have spent the past few weeks with family and friends, really getting to know their boats in one of the great boating paradises of the world, the Whitsunday Islands on Queensland's Great Barrier Reef. We have been blessed with perfect weather, which has allowed plenty of outer reef runs where giant Mary Rass have come to the surface to greet us and new anchorages have been discovered. All in all, it's been a perfect few weeks. But it's not over yet. No, not by a long shot. In fact, some might say it's just the beginning. Welcome to Hayman Island for the 2022 Princess Motor Yachts Australia Rendezvous. This event has been going for a few years now and princess owners can't seem to get enough of it to the point where this year we have more princess yachts than the island has marina berths. And like clockwork, these vessels have been arriving in a choreographed parade for the festivities. Greg and the princess team have left nothing to chance right down to the very stylish Rendezvous princess shirts very nice. Our guests hail from all over the country and it's great for all to catch up again annually on a week Greg has christened made for family, friends and the finer things. Family is hugely important to Greg and bringing children along this week is not only offered but warmly encouraged. Greg, my absolute favourite part of this Hayman Island Rendezvous is that it is for the whole family. Is that really important for you? I think it's one of the most important things we, we do is so we don't actually just encourage it. We love having the kids here encapsulated in the whole event. Boating is about family and it's something we really encourage with our customers is, is to, to bring their children to events like this. Once the boats are penned and secured, some will check into the resort while others will be living aboard for the week ahead. There's a jam-packed schedule tonight that begins with a formal welcome dinner. meet and greet for guests and sponsors, and through some whiz -bang tech, an opportunity to speak with the Princess Head Office team in Plymouth in the UK. And thanks, thanks to you Greg and the team for putting on such a great event, and especially thanks to all, all of our clients for enjoying our boats so much. It's really, really great to see. That's what makes us happy. Thank you so much. One gent who is normally back in the cold confines of the factory is Adam, who has joined us this year just to see what all the fuss is about. The UK is just going into autumn now, so it's getting cold. It's the best time to come. The temperature's coming up, it's lovely here. Um, but yeah, coming in on the, on the little transport into the island was amazing to go into the marina full of pretty much brand new model princesses. Um, and what's heartening is to see these boats that aren't local, they've travelled quite a long way to get here which is what we do at the factory. We build these great hulls. We go on about seamanship and stuff, but to see it being experienced here and the customers uh, having a run out, it's really, really good. So that's, that's good to see. I can't think of anything better. It's just, yeah, paradise. Absolutely, that's one word, paradise. Dinner tonight is amazing and features these massive grazing platters. There's a little bit of first night fever in the air and the party is about to really fire up with a six piece band flown in especially for the night. Island is a special place. Given its name in 1866 and named for the skipper of the vessel surveying the region, in 1933 Edward Embry, a school teacher and amateur scientist, established a biological research laboratory on the island. 
Red Jansett acquired Heyman in the 1940s, and since then it's been visited by movie stars, rock stars, international leaders of countries and business, and the odd cyclone or two. In the last few years, it's been redeveloped by the Intercon Group and is still known for its azure blue waters, both in and around the pool. Today gave our guests an opportunity to explore the island and catch up with old friends. Geez, that's beautiful, isn't it? Before coming together in the cool of the evening at a cocktail function to watch the sunset from the best spot on the island. Sally and her family aboard their recently acquired Princess F62. It's been a week of family reconnection and relaxation. Heyman is so beautiful. I don't remember it being this beautiful. And the weather's been amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so, and I've really loved getting to know everybody. Everyone's really easy to talk to. So three gens on one boat. Yes. How special is that with boating that you can connect? as a family? Yeah, look, we love it. My family are big boaties. I think there's 14 watercraft amongst my in-laws and my family and my brother and us. So boating's a big part of our life. And um, yeah, I, I can't imagine my life without it. And as the sun sets on another glorious Hayman Island day, we all head for a relatively early night with our eyes firmly on the prize. That will be our White Haven beach party tomorrow. Dawn brings the promise of more perfect weather and crews are provisioning and preparing vessels for a fun day ahead. We depart the Hayman Marina in formation with our sights set on Whitehaven. Upon arrival at what must be the world's whitest and most pristine beach, we drop anchor, get out the toys and are greeted at the beach with the most amazing verve rich champagne cocktails. What a day we are in for. with all the trimmings on a remote tropical island, gazing out to sea at our fleet of princess vessels. It's easy to see why this trip is a must do for owners. Roger and wife Anna have traveled from New Zealand to be here and are loving it, as you would expect. Back in 2014, we were looking to change boats uh, and uh, we went and looked at a V52 with Scott. Um, and we're looking really for a V57. We couldn't find what we were looking for and Scott put us into a V62, uh, which we've had for five years. Uh, and then last year we got a V72. So we're not a Flybridge uh, family. There's only three of us, Anna, Zach and I, and uh, we love the V, love the sun pad, the garage, the tender, the water skiing, and, and now the flight boarding. Everyone is having a crack at the flight boards and I would expect a few to be under Christmas trees this year given the feedback from those having a go. Lean forward, okay. all the way forward, but lean back to make it fly. <laughs> it's more like snowboarding than surfing. Surfing, it's all in your back foot, but this you have to pretty much put all your weight in your front. How do you reckon Lisa's going to go? I reckon Lisa's going to kill it. <laughs> She's so good with sports. Anything she just gets. <laughs> with the sun out and the tide high, it's plain to see days don't get much more perfect. This is a day no one wants to see end, but as we weigh anchor and return to beautiful Hayman in the afternoon light, you can be sure people are already trying to sort their availability and opportunities for next year. rise early for a breakfast with the cockatoos to plan their day ahead. Officially, our princess family will gather again on the Bam Bam lawn for a farewell gathering of sorts, for a street cart lunch of oysters and Asian delights washed down with lashings of champagne.
To see everyone coming together for the final time enriches this feeling of bond between owners who, once upon a time, barely knew each other, but now have tackled some amazing experiences together. Uh, so it's been the sublime to the ridiculous of the peaceful and quiet and tranquility of just two of us on board yeah. to suddenly the madness and mayhem of uh, 11, 12 boats floating around the place and it's been terrific. The White Haven experience, the, um, the dinners, the, um, the meeting new people, the, uh, what I get out of it is the learning of different ideas, the way you tweak something. All I can say is, wow, what a week. To our sponsors, thanks so much for your support. To all of our owners, we hope you had the most incredible time. And of course, to Greg and the team at Princess, thank you so much for this incredible week. Oh, and to all of you at home, thank you so much for watching us. We cannot wait to do it all again this time next year. And if you want to be standing right here where I am, then make sure you get in touch with Greg and the team at Princess Yachts Australia. Bye.